some of the animal group doesn't change the name but for baboons it change from situations um, the baboons are living in a troop in a group of from 6 to 100 it depends where they are they will slowly come back to the road so just look up ahead you see they are coming back to the road uh, the group can be big as much as it can be because of the availability of food and the space they have home range they don't have territory they live in a home range the home range can easily overlap from one to another but the baboons they fight for it the hierarchy of family they hook up more their tails are more hooked up and everyone in the family will have respect the female of the high ratio family she can easily come and grab the baby from uh, uh, the pest family that not dominant and take it but the baby from high ratio family nobody will touch it so the group is like from that angle you can see them the group is being leaded by one male and his family members when the males get too old from the from the recessive group he will become a babysitter of the hierarchy of family when the males get too old they are just sitting behind the bushes they are hiding from us family that's why we call it game drive it's not just from one window to another up, 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 up. You can see to your right. We may find another very. We may find another. <laughs> 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 it's just a stick. I know. <laughs> now the, the male is relaxed. You see, he's very relaxed. Mm -hmm. And he's eating fast as he can. Yeah, the motorcycle didn't bother him. <laughs> um, mm? So, you see how his tail has been caved? By blinking their eyes, they will blink eyes. They have a pinkish color, which is not every member of the family can do it, only from the hierarchy of family. And that blink will show happiness or sadness. And uh, we hug and kiss each other. The baboon do, does the same. Just don't go out the window. Don't put your hands out the window. That way the car don't hit you. So. I'm sure we'll see again the troop of baboons. So, back to the baboons. The baboons are living in that big family. The male, the, the, the hierarchical family, would always choose a tree to overnight. They don't overnight in the same tree continuously every day. No. They will alternate trees because using the same tree every day it will they will become vulnerable to the predators because the predators will get to know they will get to learn where they are so every day they will move within their home range within their home range they will change trees the hierarchy of male will go up up on the top and he will go to, he has got a very limited time to sleep first First, he's trying to protect his superiority, his position in the family. Second, he needs to protect the whole family. So in case of anything, he will get an alert call that everyone will get together. They will start barking, shouting to keep that enemy far away. That's the water pipe for the park, the blue, the green. Irrigation? No, no, for the, for the, for the park, sub, park headquarters supply. Oh, okay, the water down there. They yeah. See the skull of giraffe? Yes. Oh, it's a giraffe skull. Uh, in, uh, Madagascar, Just a giraffe skull. Um, that means maybe by natural death or being hunted by the predator. And the bones are there slowly getting back to the soil. And the soil will give it to the grass and the grass will give it to the uh, giraffe of other animals then the cycle of life is completed mm -hmm. 
uh, ecosystem is completed. That's why we, now we need microbacteria. Although we don't see it with our eyes, we need them. They are the ones who will digest the dead old bones back into calcium and calcium to grass and grass to us. If you eat spinach that's been grown in the soil, I'm telling you, you're eating part of what has been digested by the soil. The soil, to be good soil, should get a lot of dead materials. You cannot eat the dead material, but you eat what has been digested. Okay. Yeah. So, back to baboons. The baboons in the troop, the name change according to situation. When the baboons are settled, like at the tree sleeping, we call it, somebody knows, we call it a congress of baboons. When the baboons are moving, we call it a troop of baboons. When the baboons are fighting, because they fight a lot, we call it the army of baboons. So it changed according to the situation. Giraffe, well, I'll tell you when we are with giraffes. The babies are mostly born in the same, same time, like it depends on the different areas. But here in Arusha National Park, it's September, October. And the number is saved. So the female will get into ostrich at the same time, and they will give birth of their babies at almost the same time. So that, even if anything happens, it's not all the babies will die. That's happening for most of the animals. And how many might they have? Uh, very rarely. In Tanzania, we don't have that record, but they have recorded once in South Africa the babies, twin, twin babies. But normally they give birth of single. And what is their birth cycle? The, the gestation period is six months, so they have a chance of raising the baby before she conceives again. Yeah. They, they really have a very social life where they respect age, where they respect position. Like uh, for the baboons, as I mentioned before, the old male to become a babysitter is something that you never think about. And he will be a very babysitter. He will stay with the babies when the mothers are out for in search of the pasture on grass, fruits. And sometimes he will dig down the, the roots and feed the babies. Yeah. So how do we bring back the food when to the go? community? No, they go for it. They go for it. They don't carry food. No, 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 no. They go to a place where they can eat all together. Nobody is, is doing spook feeding. So she finds a place. She finds a tree that is for the good fruit. They will bring the babies there. They learn how to pick. And by that way, they teach them what is good to eat, what is not good to eat, what to eat when. Because they eat a lot of plants, not because they are hungry. Some of the plants are eaten for the medicinal purpose. So the mothers will need to pass that information from this generation to the other generation. So the babies need to do by their hands. Uh, Africa has been abused a lot for the baby's labor that we, we use our, our children to work for the parents. But I always prove them wrong by telling them we teach them responsibilities. We teach them how to do things by themselves. Not like, I am not there anymore, and then my children doesn't know here how to prepare tea or coffee. They will starve to death. But if they know how to make ugali, the, the one we showed, the, explained you yesterday, they will still survive even if I'm not there. They will have a chance to eat something and go to the neighbor and say, you know, we have just eaten the last drop of our ma maize bin. And if he doesn't know how to prepare, then they're in trouble. So these are the trucks coming from town and transport the tomatoes from here into town or out the other parts of the, of the, of the town.
But no one lives up here, it's just farms. Like no, no, no. On the other side of the park, there are people living there. There are big villages. Farmers' village. Yeah, and they go, never go out? Yes. Luckily, animals have got a right inside the park and outside the park. So you are not allowed to shoot. It comes to a very critical. Then you need to call the park authority and they will come and drive that animal back into the park. And if the animal is not listening to the command, they will shoot it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Some of the animals, they will be shot to death. Oh, wow. Oh. The reason is... Kill, up, kill on sight. It's not listening. No, no, because, <laughs> because if you don't kill, that animal will kill. If, like, the leopard is outside the park and already used to eat goats, sheep, cows, and you let it back to the park, it will never stay because out there there is an easy hunt. And if you allow that to happen, that means you will go out and hunt a human baby. So, but... They will really try to shoot on sight, wow. Tranquilize, taking it back to the park. And sometimes that animal doesn't listen. That's why I said if it doesn't listen to the command, they will shoot it to them. I say what I dig dig you are dogo leo men. We're talking about the red dikes because they're they are around here. 